Welcome to Art Space, City 4 TV's window on the art scene in the White Mountains of Arizona. I'm Steve Taylor, and this is my co-host, Lisa Jane. How are you doing, Lisa? Good. Good to see you, Steve. Good seeing you. It's good to be back again. And we've got Katie Burden with us today, Gord artist, doing beautiful work here. <laughs> and uh, um, I'm just going to throw this out for whatever it's worth, but uh, putting up with James Burden of the <laughs> High Country Barbershop <laughs> Chorus. Anyway, Katie, it's good to have you here. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Well, I'm seeing some beautiful work here. What got you started doing this? Well, about 10 years ago, I had um, some medical issues. I had a series of strokes. Ooh. And I was looking for something to do to kind of get uh, more function in, in my hands. And I decided to play around with this. Somebody said, oh, here, look at this, you know see what you can do with it. So I started playing around and all of a sudden I found out that I was having an awful lot of fun yeah. and that people sometimes liked what I came up with. Well I can so see why. I yeah. just kind of kept playing. <laughs> so is it something you, a friend of yours was doing? No, actually we were out and about, one of my daughters and I, and we stopped by a farm between Cusgrande and Coolidge that grows gourds mm -hmm. among other things. And we just, on a whim, stopped and started playing and, and, you know, started looking at things and said, oh, gee, I wonder what I can do with this. And there was a gourd about yay big and about yay big around with a gopher hole about yay big. Mm -hmm. And the farmer said, well, why don't you take this home and see what you can do with it? So I took it home and took out the wood putty and, and filled in the hole and just started playing. And I've been playing ever since. It's been a lot of fun. So before this, had you, had you dabbled in art? Not really. Um, I'm a retired educator and a um, retired psychologist, and I never had time. And we have 10 kids, mm -hmm. a lot of kids. And we n I never had time to do anything like this. So it was just something fun to do. This is amazing. Could, could you. you describe to us then, what is this process then? How do you pick the gourd? Sure. And, and then what do you decide to put on it? Well, when I pick a gourd, I kind of look at Sometimes I go with a set purpose in mind and say, oh, I want to make a lidded vessel or I want to, to do a lot of carving or something in particular. But I usually just look for a shape that I like, take it home and, and sit it on the kitchen table, much to my family's dismay, mm. and <laughs> with uh, all the mold and dust and dirt, and decide from there what I'm going to do with it. Sometimes I use a lot of leafing, sometimes some inlay, like the beads and the and the little tiny beads there. Sometimes nothing like that. I've, I've dabbled with abstract things and, uh, and very, um, very relaxed things and very formal things. Just whatever it seems to want to be. And, and do you do different, okay, so there's beading in here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this and, is and all bead work around here. here. Right. Is this carved? Uh, the, the butter? No, they are, they're uh, wood burned, wood engraved, pyro oh, engraved. Oh, okay. oh, okay. And I do a lot of, of uh, pyrography. On and, and the shells look 3D. What, what is. Well, actually, those are ammonites, and they're inlaid into the gourd oh, itself. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I do a lot of inlay work because I'm finding that's what I need practice with. Oh, yeah, so that's, that's where it goes. gorgeous. So, what do you do with your work once, once you've finished a piece? Uh, Sometimes I ship it off to family members who say, oh, gee, I like that piece. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a friend will say, oh, I'll, I'll purchase that from you. Sometimes, as with these two pieces here, uh, I'll donate them for, you know, for fundraisers, for, especially for 501c3 organizations. Um, sometimes they end up sitting on a shelf for a long time. And once in a while, somebody will say, oh, could you make me a similar piece and and I've done work on commission off and on for about the last five years. Nice. Have you mm -hmm. have you entered these in any type of um, art contest or as far as jury shows? Yeah. Yeah. No. no. I'm not much of a competitor. Okay. <laughs> no. Because I want to do what I want to do yeah. and they have rules and oh, I'm going yeah. Oh, yeah. no rules at this stage in my life as far as what I <laughs> what I want to play with. So yeah. let's talk about these two. Mm -hmm. You said they're they're uh, slotted to to be up for auction for fundraising. And what, right. what is that a fundraiser for? These are for the High Country Barbershop Chorus for their annual show about the last five years. I've given them a piece for each show oh. for a fundraiser. 
um, especially since I have a husband and a son yeah. who are, who are, in, who are the in the okay. chorus. And I try to use the same kind of theme so that they're similar, but you never get them exactly the same, even if you tried. Mm -hmm. This year, it just happened to be dragonflies. They just happened to be popping in my head for whatever reason. Nice. And next year, next year it could be creatures from outer space. Who knows? Whatever, <laughs> whatever <laughs> it, it, pops in your head. Is it whatever yeah. comes up yeah. and when? Whatever. That's what whatever you go with. Whatever your fancy. Nice. And whatever gourds happen to be in my little boxes uh -huh. stuck under the carport. Yeah. Yeah. So. And so where do you find these gourds? Most of my gourds come from Wurtz Farm, which is halfway between Casa Grande and oh, Coolidge. Same, same place. Mm -hmm. A few I order out of state, but some people can order and and get a gourd and say, oh, I'm going to do this and this, so I just need this shape. I just want to find something that that sort of fits how I'm feeling at the moment mm -hmm. when I pick it up, and I want to do that hands-on. So when is the, when is the uh, annual concert then uh, for the High Country Quartet? That is, ju the, the High Country Chorus? Of course. That is, Thank that's you. fine. <laughs> <laughs> that is, there are a couple of nice quartets, <laughs> especially the, the International Championship Quartet coming in. That is July 12th. There's okay. a show at 2 and 7, I believe. And the guys have been working really hard. I've been hearing lead and bass coming through the bathroom right. walls for <laughs> quite a few months now. Uh, nice. So. so if someone was interested in, in um, perhaps uh, getting a chance to win these, where would they get more information? Sure, they can t contact the local chambers. Okay. Um, Pine Top Lakeside and Sholo both have tickets available and information. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. And then, so they can get both information about possibly supporting uh, mm -hmm. by uh, by getting tickets for these, as well as right. uh, asking about tickets for the concert. As Absolutely. Well. Awesome. Absolutely. Well, we're excited because now that Katie's been on and we've we've seen um, the fundraising going on for this, we're going to follow with some interviews from both the High Country Chorus and uh, Broken Record Quartet. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's their annual show coming up in July, and so they'll be coming up next. And we want to thank Katie so much thank for having. being on the show with us. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, thank you for having me. You bet. Welcome back. Well, we're happy to have our friends from the High Country Barbershop Chorus with us today. And uh, we've got Xander Pansula and James Mark Burden over here from Broken Record Quartet. Welcome, guys. Hi, how are you, how you doing? Good. Good to have you here. I'm looking forward to hearing you sing here in a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, well, for my curiosity, since I used to sing with the High Country Chorus some years ago, um, yeah. What got you started singing with the chorus? Um, actually, well, for both of us, really, our dads were in it okay. originally. You know, I was um, 16, I think. I don't know. How old were you? I was in 2006, so 11. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, maybe I was 15. I was, <laughs> we, were pretty, we were pretty young. I recognized but, uh, you. Yeah. And that's, well, that's how we got started. Me and my, my younger brother, who's the tenor, you're going to hear him with us later. And then... Um, our friend Blake, who sings lead, which is which is the melody, mm -hmm. he, yeah. uh, he I, I asked him to come in. He um, moved here uh, a couple of years back, and I just asked him to come in, and we started a quartet, and it just wow. kept going. And now we've got a nice quartet and stuff. And you know, we've most of us have been doing music, you know, all our yeah. lives anyway. So it was just another. Another tangent of music that we really, that we really enjoy. Good. Well, you started young. How, how old are you now, then? Um, I'm 21. I'm 19. Uh, I will be 20 in July. Okay. So, yeah. still wow. young, but you've still got a lot yeah. of experience <laughs> under the belt already. Oh, That's yeah. nice. It's, it's a good age. I like it. So, so what about this kind of music that that pulls you? I mean, what made you stay in it? The chords. The chords, <laughs> the chords definitely yeah. sound amazing. <laughs> You know, one, one thing that works, and I, I, I relate to these guys quite a bit because I sang and toured with the um, Trinity Ambassadors Quartet out of Trinity Bible College in Chicago when I was a kid. Anyway, that harmony together, when you get that harmony working, man, 
there's camaraderie going on, you know. Oh, yeah. You yeah, become yeah, brothers. Yeah. 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 And that's, well, and it's funny because a lot of people will be like, oh, you know, it's just a bunch of old people. But I'm like, no, it's really, it doesn't yeah. matter what age you are. No. It's just as fun, you know, but a lot of people think you have to be a certain age to sing it. Yeah, yeah. no, we, um, when we go to Harmony University, which is like a, like a barbershop college for barbershoppers, they have every summer, and every year there is um, kids there. Like, and every year they get like younger and younger. Soon, <laughs> sooner or later, it's gonna be like two year olds, you know, dancing up on stage, singing well, in the chorus. Yeah, two years ago they had um, a ten year old, twelve year old, and I don't know some yeah. some other age, but they were really young. They sounded amazing too, though. But um, it's actually we're going there this year. So Again, that's nice. Yeah, we're gonna meet um, James, Mark, and I are, but. Uh, we unfortunately we can't take as many people as we wish we could but mm. and where is this at um it's uh this year it's in nashville oh, okay i cool. couldn't tell you the name of the college <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> um <sighs> so how what how else are you pursuing music is this is this your only venue oh no we have a, a lot yeah, of other we, stuff yeah we have a lot of different stuff we, we have we actually have another group um, called called Revision. It's like it's an acapella group, and all the quartet is in it. Yeah. Well, what is the name of it again? I'm sorry. Revision. 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 Yeah. Okay. And then in Revision, we've got um, five singers actually, and then a beatboxer. It's acapella. I don't know if you've heard of uh, Pentatonix. They kind of they're actually they're actually probably the group that's surfacing the style as more of a mainstream mm -hmm. style, but uh, it's it's acapella in the form of a band. It's okay. not. It's not just you know, singing chords and stuff. You know, you try and make it sound like instruments. Oh. And, you know, oh. make so, it. So you guys would be willing to come back on on the show as yes. yeah, abso oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that'd be a ton of fun. We'll, we'll definitely do that oh, then, because yeah. I'm intrigued by the idea. So and that we've actually got. It's um, me, James Mark, Donnie Pansula, Blake Sullivan, Davy Lynn Dennison, and Caitlin oh, Webb. Oh, Davy Lynn's okay. gonna be in it. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then yeah. Caitlin Webb and yeah. uh, and we've uh. We actually started that pretty recently, but it's so far it's been going really smoothly. But that's um, that's that's a nice one too. Okay, well when you but have when you have a couple pieces that you're ready to have yeah. the world see, then we'll, yeah. we'll have you on. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sounds then, good. Sounds good. And then the only other thing is that I, I also do piano, and that's um, that's really what I started with with music. Really, it was piano. Mm -hmm. I started when I was like six, and I've been doing that ever since. Yeah, so. and I started with trumpet in fifth grade. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And are you are you pursuing music elsewhere? Mm, my scholarship at NPC, mm -hmm. I have uh, it's a uh, it's for the arts. So I'll, I'll be doing music, uh, be acting, and all that stuff. Nice, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. He's a great actor. Yes, yeah. I've seen him <laughs> in a couple shows. Um, oh, and I also have done a few plays too, mm -hmm. um, at NPC and high, and some high school plays. Mm -hmm. So. That's something we like to do together as well. Nice. So you're talking musicals or yeah, musicals. yeah and nice. regular plays and musicals. Yeah. And it's it's a ton of fun. Yes. Were you guys in 1776? I was. Yeah. I thought I, I recognized <laughs> you from 1776. <laughs> I was in eighth grade. <laughs> All right. Every every time we had practice, I was in football in eighth grade. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, I never washed my pads. Yeah. Like all my football stuff. So and I had to go right after practice right to rehearsal. So I was already like smell like. <laughs> Bad. You, you were the smelly. You were the smelly actor. Is yeah, that I what was you're the smelly actor. <laughs> well, so, there were a bunch of us smelly guys on stage <laughs> for that show. <laughs> um, so let's, let's talk. About, go back to, to barbershop and, and, and quartet yeah. singing. And um, there's a there's a program coming up. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, on July 12th, we have our whole chorus, and a few of our um, quartets from the chorus will be performing. Um, in a show. Um, July 12th is a Saturday also, so it's you know a nice day for show. We have a performance at uh, 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock p.m. And uh, you, can, uh, you can also get more information about tickets from the chambers, okay. uh, Pine Top or Sholo Chambers, or from any of the chorus members. And then we also have the International Championship Quartet Masterpiece coming in. And they're going to be performing a fantastic 25, 30 minute bit, and they'll they'll blow your mind. Mm -hmm. They are the be they are the best of the best. So okay. where does this take place? Uh, this is down at Sholo Auditor Sholo, Sholo High School Auditorium. Okay. Yep. Know where it is? On Old yeah. Linden Road. 
Oh. Yep, down right behind the uh, Burger King. Okay, mm -hmm. so Broken Record, the quartet you're in, is will be performing in, in this program. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so today we have the treat. You, your quartet, are going is going to sing two songs for us. You know what? What, what are those songs? Um, our quartet is going to be singing Happy Together in Year 16, and uh, the other quartet, we call it Broken Trail because it's a mix of two quartets, Broken Records and Crook's Trail. They're, uh, um, they're singing Boardwalk <laughs> and uh, Sentimental Journey. Okay, right. so you're, si you're just singing one song then? No, so we're singing two, two and then they're, okay. and then they're okay. singing two. Okay, yeah. so that's what we're gonna be seeing. Um, we want to thank you for being on the show, and we're going to have you back here yes. as oh, yeah. Revision. Mm -hmm. okay? yes, absolutely. So, That'll be, um, <laughs> That'll be great. We look forward to that. Um, and we're going to be hearing you sing, and then we're going yeah. to be hearing uh, a blend of Crook's Trail and Broken Records. So we've got uh, four great songs coming up. Thanks yeah. for being on the show today. Yeah, thank no you. problem at all. And yeah, thank you for letting us. Yeah. <laughs> you come. Like a dream, peaches and cream, lips like strawberry wine. You're 16, you're beautiful, and your mind so fine. Baby, your mind, you're all ribbons and girls. And you a girl, those eyes that twinkle and shine. Now you're 16, you're beautiful, and your mind, and your mind. Now you're my baby, you're my pet. We Night we met, you touched my hand, my heart went pop. I knew when we kissed, we could not stop. You walked out of my dreams and into my arms. Now you're my angel divine. Now you're 16, you're beautiful, and you're mine. And you're mine. Now you're my baby, baby, you're my pet. love on the night we met, and then you touched my hand, my heart went pop. We could not stop. You walked out of my dreams and into my arms. Now, angel divine, you're 16. You're beautiful and you're mine. Angel divine, oh yeah. 16. You're beautiful and mine. I come in the car, baby. I make my so fine. But you're my baby, beautiful and you're mine. mine. So happy I'm doing together. Imagine me and you. I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the one you love and hold the tie. So happy together. If I should call you up and just a dime and you say you belong to me and this is my heart, imagine how the world could be. So very fine. So happy together. I can't see me loving nobody but you for all my life. When you're with me, baby, the skies will be blue for all my life. Me and you, and you and me, no matter how the times the dice, it had to be. The only one for me is you, and you for me. So happy together. Nobody but you for all my life. But when you're with me, baby, the skies will be blue for all my life. Do, 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 and do with me. No matter how many times I died, it had to be the only one for you. And you for me, so happy together. Me and you, and you and me, no matter how they toss the dice, it had to be the only one for me is you, and you for me, so happy together, so happy to be, so happy together. 
so happy together. To feel alone when home sweet home is far away. away. I'm a rolling stone who's been so alone until until today. Because I'm going to take. A sentimental journey Gonna set, gonna set my heart at ease I'm gonna make, gonna make a sentimental journey To renew old memories I got my bag, got my bag I got my reservation Spanish time, Spanish time I could afford I'm like a child Like a child with wild anticipation Long to hear that all aboard seven. seven. That's the time we leave at seven. Seven. I'll be waiting up for heaven. Heaven. Counting every mile of railroad track that takes me back. I never thought. Never thought my heart would be so yearning. Why did I? Why did I? Decide to roll. I gotta take, gotta take the sentimental journey, sentimental journey home, sentimental journey home, sentimental journey home. Pum 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 Oh when the sun beats down and burns the tar up on the roof And your shoes get so hot you wish you're tired were fire pum 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 Under the boardwalk Down by Down by the sea on a blanket with my baby is where I'll be. Bum, 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 bum. Under the boardwalk, out of the sun. Under the boardwalk, we'll be having some fun. Under the boardwalk, people walking above. the boardwalk, we'll be falling in love. Under the boardwalk. Boardwalk, bum, bum, now bum, at the park bum, you bum, hear bum, the happy sound bum, of a carousel. Bum, 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 you can bum, almost bum, taste bum, the hot dogs and french bum, fries bum, they sell. Bum, 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 Under the boardwalk, down by, down by the sea. Yeah. Yeah. On a blanket, blanket with, with my baby, baby is where I'll be. Bum, 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 bum. Under the boardwalk, out of the sun, under the boardwalk, we'll be having some fun. Under the boardwalk, people walking above. The boardwalk, we'll be falling in love. Under the boardwalk, boardwalk. Thank you for joining us here today on Art Space. Art Space is sponsored by Northeastern Arizona Fine Arts Association and the Arts Alliance of the White Mountains. We'll see you next month as we have two new artists on the show.